this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome to New Game Plus on Let's Play Radiant Historia Perfect Chronology. So far, I've advanced the plot up to Chapter 6 of Standard History at the Hoff Ruins here because I want to farm the Magi for a piece of equipment that I would highly recommend for the Ultimate Super Boss. So, in this case, just use Magic Boost on Stock, cast Will-O-Wisp, Hey, all right, and we get the Nocturne Dagger from the Magi in the back there. Uh, it took me about 50 minutes to farm by my clock, and, I mean, it's not absolutely critical to acquire, but it's the only weapon in the game for Ott that can boost her luck stats. And that'll boost the proc rate of her support skills, which can increase the margin of error against the super boss. If you get lucky and get the right skill to trigger there, you'll be able to... It'll, it'll make it a lot more likely that you'll be able to survive. But all right, okay, so we got that one. There is one other rare drop I'd like to farm, so I'm going to advance the plot until I get to that point, and I'll see you guys over there. Okay, we're back in Chapter 5 of Alternate History at the Abyssia Forest. Uh, just like before, we are looking for the mage-type enemy of the area, Wizards. Let's get this over. So let's see, with those two guys, since everyone's so close to the front row, let's uh, grapple everyone to the front and then use, what was that, Shadow Arts on them. That'll take out the two Wizards. And the G-Thunder should be able to finish off the blue climb there. Now, by the way, I'm doing the farming that I want to do in Chapter 5 instead of Chapter 4 here. Because we have access to the east exit, which makes this more convenient. But it's not convenient if we don't get the drop that I want out of it. That's... Okay, well, let's try again. Yeah, we got two battles here that'll have wizards in them. So it makes it an ideal farming spot for this part. So let's see, let's get the wizard out of there and let's try using our good old Will-O-Wisp and hopefully that'll be enough. Hey, hey, got it. The fortune road for Ott. It took me about 30 minutes to farm that and it's the only armor in the game for Ott that boosts her luck stats. But all right, so that's all the rare drop farming that I want to do. So now I'm going to advance the plot a bit more. And I want to farm a bunch of mementos at the Vault of Time there. So I'll meet you after I've done that farming. Okay, we're back at the Vault of Time where I farmed a lot of mementos. <laughs> Not quite as much as I need, but I'll be able to show you everything that I... Well, that I want to buy here that'll be pretty important for us coming up here. Let's see. I want to buy up to seven star studs because they boost your luck by three in addition to some other stats that I don't care about. But I pretty much just want them for the luck boosting so that way I can get those support skills to proc more often there. And let's see. I also want to get the... I don't know how you pronounce that. Jaganith, Jaganith, I don't know. But it's a pretty good piece of armor for Gafka because not only does his monoburst gauge charge up a lot faster with it, but it's also almost as good on defense and magic defense as the next best thing that he can equip. So you might as well go with that. And I'm going to buy a memento ring, not because you need it, but because I want to show off fighting the epitaph in the Vault of Time here, eventually. And let's see, what else do we need? Okay, we need to buy some consumables here. Mostly the better herbs that you can get in the game. Let's see, if you don't have five Magic Herb Plus, I'd buy up to five of those, although I don't think we really need them. But I'm gonna buy them just as a safety. Same thing with uh, Magic Defense Herb Plus, I would buy a few of those. Yeah, that'll... I, I might change my strategy and not use those, but I, I want to have plenty of them. So, let's see. I also want to get some Miter Plus. Let's see. Hmm. I'd like to get up to at least 10 of them. 
So let's see, if I get a few of those, and then I want to buy a lot of meta branches, I would get at least 10, preferably 15, so I don't have to be afraid to use those. And that should be good. I'll probably do a little more farming, but that's all that I really need out of the Vault of Time there. So, Okay, so now I want to advance the plot until, well, I beat the game. Because there's something else that I want to show off when, when we get to that point. Uh, I'm handling advancing the plot a little differently in this playthrough. So I'll see you over there then. Go. Here I come! Dance with me! Dance with me! Yeah, take this! Too slow! Huh? You must cool down! Huh? 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 All right, got him! Okay, so, beat the original final boss there, and because this is New Game Plus, we can just skip all the cutscenes, which are basically, well, yeah, these are identical to the way they were before, depending on how many side quests, or key side quests, you actually completed. And while going through New Game Plus, I intentionally avoided as many key side quests as possible, so that way I can show you, well, not really the bad ending, but the incomplete ending that you would get. But yeah, what side quests you have, or what key side quests you have completed will still trigger cutscenes, but there's no cutscene with Heist sacrificing himself for the greater good or whatever enlightenment things going on there. And let's see. Wow, I completed more of these than I remember. <laughs> but, uh, okay, let's see. Okay, so th I think this is the last one. Okay, there we go. The ritual was successful, and the desertification has stopped for now. You've done admirably. Hey, hey, all right. So, yeah, if you didn't complete all those key side quests, the... Scene with Heist doesn't happen, and you get a little different dialogue here at the very end. But was that truly the only way? What do you mean? Could there perhaps have been another possibility? One that leads you to a different end? Well, I did all the Nemesia side quests. If you unify the emotions of those around you, such an end may become apparent. Uh, translation! You need to do more side quests. Now. Open the White Chronicle. A history yet unwritten awaits. So, yeah, if you did not complete enough key side quests, Tang, because Stock was sacrificed, he can't, well, be alive to help out Nemesia anymore. So, time essentially rewound to before we defeated Heist and Apocrypha and all that stuff. And, yeah, I only completed a handful of these because some of these were... Uh, needed as prerequisites to some of Nemesius side quests there but uh okay so we got that so now that we've oh wait I should show you what do we got let's see so yeah I completed all the Nemesius side quests that I could prior to defeating Apocrypha so you might think well let's just you know, go see Nemesia and do the final side quest for her. So that way we could go to uh, the Red Corridor and all that in the post-game, right? Well, as I found out when I did this, that's not the case. If I can ever talk to her. Glad you could join me, Stock. So, let's see. Yeah, she has no new side quest. What's going on? Well, as I eventually found out... There, uh, the, there is a prerequisite for getting the last side quest from the Messia. You're always welcome aboard. Don't. And yeah, in order to do that, you do need to complete all those key side quests, so that and that will unlock 
the final quest there from the Messia that lets you get into the Red Corridor and all that stuff. So, let's see. Okay, so we got... Where was it? Let me show you an example of what I did here. So, yeah, you see this little key icon on the side quest? That's the key side quest that unlock different scenes during the ending and are prerequisites to the final side quest for Nemesia. So, I'm going to take care of all that stuff off screen, uh, completing... Well, I'm just going to complete all the side quests, including the key side quests, and, yeah, then I'm going to get through the Red Corridor, do all that stuff the same as before. I'll be higher leveled and have better equipment, but it's basically the same deal. And then I will see you at, uh, well, the end, after defeating the Singularity. Once you're in a New Game Plus, you defeat the Singularity, and you've done everything up to that point. Well, there's something exclusive to New Game Plus, so I will... Meet you over there, then, after defeating the Singularity again. Let me have a go! This'll leave a mark! Dance with me! Dance with me! Yeah, take this! Yeah, take this! Too slow! All right, got it. A little close there. I got, or what is it? Yeah, I got a little tripped up towards the end, but we made it. Okay, so now once you've defeated the Singularity again in New Game Plus, I don't want to accidentally skip over a particular cutscene. I forget exactly when the new stuff happens. But I have completed all the side quests in the main storyline and for Nemesia. We got the Seed of Possibility there. Stock gets his booty as he should. We save Nemesia. And then... Oh yeah, we still got this part. I wasn't quite sure if that's what I was looking for though. Okay, so then, yeah, we get credits. You can just skip past those, too. And, oh, okay, so we still got stuff here. There we go. Okay, so here's the really new stuff. If you recall, when you start a new game plus, you, there is this voice with all these floaty cubes around for some reason. And if you've taken the time to get all the way through... All of that stuff, again, well, something, you get something else at the end of New Game Plus. It's totally not worth it, but it is there and I do want to show it off. But yeah, they really make you take a lot of time to get everything out of the game. Well, what do you mean? Oh, well, I suppose I could just use the White Chronicle for my own personal gain at this point. What do you mean by that? Who are you even anyway? Oh, all right. What are the tasks? Is it going to involve an obscenely powerful super boss? Spoiler alert! It is! So we got another part of the Red Corridor added on here. How does that even work? Oh, okay. Oh. Sure, why not? How hard could the dungeon possibly be? Oh, 
But all right. I have no choice but to continue on. It's never over, Stack. It's never over. But before going through this place, let's get out of here and... Wait a minute, do I... I forget if I actually need to heal up or if I can just stay here at this point. Let's see. Yep, I need to heal up. Okay, yeah, let's get out of here then. I'm going to go back to uh, Celestia, Chapter 3 there. So, yeah, we got all these nodes. And instead of 283, now we have a 284th node tacked on to it there. Yeah, they kind of hide it on you. The, the only reason I know this exists is because there was a Japanese website that I couldn't... Uh, well, I couldn't tell exactly what they were saying. They were saying something about there being a fourth part to the... Uh, what is it? The Red Corridor there. The, kind of like a Chronicles Labyrinth sort of thing or something or other. I, I couldn't quite make sense of it. But eventually, yeah, I played through New Game Plus and, and found what they were talking about there. And there's some new enemies. There's some more... Ult there's some... Wait... Yeah, there's some more, more ultimate than ultimate than ultimate equipment now. And some of it I would really like to get. So, let's see what we got here. Okay, so for my setup, I've already got the items that I want. But, let's see, I want the Radiant Historica here. Let's see, we got our Demonic Plate. Obviously, stock is going to be front and center as usual. And, yeah. Oh, I already got the General Charm. Okay, but I do want three general charms. You want as much speed as you can possibly get. Let's see, for Rainy there, let's see. I could use her for a little extra damage. So, let's see. Hmm, did I give... Yeah, yeah, the goddess charm there. I want to give that to Rainy so she could actually do something remotely useful from the reserves there. Let's see, I think Marco... What do we got there? Let's see, I'm not really going to be counting on anything from him. So, let's see. I'll give you the demonic plate. And, let's see, we need the war armament to help us out with some of these new enemies. Okay, Rosh, I will actually be using. So, let's keep him on the full gore there. Give him the Redrid for a little more... Uh, what was that? Yeah, a little more speed there. But I don't want to give him general armlets because he needs a lot more speed. So, let's see. Instead, let's go sky armlets. And let's see. Let's go with the other sky armlet. Yeah, his speed is really, really low. And the wing armlet. You want to get everyone's speed in your main party over 70, preferably 75. So that you can pretty much guarantee that you will act before the enemies do. But alright, let's see. Okay, yeah, let's just give you a few Thama Charms there. Gafka, he's also going to be in my party and I need a lot of speed on him. So, let's see. Let's go back to the Slashing Wind there. Man, I've got so much mileage out of that thing. And let's see. Okay, so we got Feather Armlets. Let's get a couple of those. And okay, I think we're good there. And let's see. For Erica there, keep her on the have through. But let's give her a bit of a luck boost there. And some Thong Chimes. Whoop. There we go. And yeah, so in order to get back to the... Uh, red quarter, you just go to that one node in the timeline there. So that's pretty nice. Yeah, you can just leave and re-enter whenever you want. And it's really nothing that extraordinary as far as, like, getting through it. So I'm going to be skipping some parts of it, but I'll, I'll show you what I mean when I get there. But yeah, so you see it's called the Vault of Time in the upper left on the bottom screen there. That's only because it looks like the Vault of Time. We got, you know, the same layout. It's just a different color palette that they got going on here. But the enemies do not reward mementos, nor are items restricted here. 
So, yeah, this is just the red corridor here. And let's see, the enemies on the first floor are the same as those on the first chapter of the Chronicles Labyrinth. The second floor has enemies from the second chapter of the Chronicles Labyrinth. There are no treasure chests or anything like that around here. No epitaphs or anything insane to worry about here. And let's see, the third part of the Red Corridor has, well, the enemies from the third chapter of the Chronicles Labyrinth. And then, once we get to the fourth floor, this is where we start running into the new enemies. So, let's see, right over here, yeah, we got enemies that'll come out of nowhere. So, you want to watch out for that. I'll point out where those enemies are, but I want to fight those guys last. Okay, so, yeah, stun that guy. And let's see what new enemies we got here. Here I go! What's its weakness? Okay, so, we got the guys up top there. Boojum! They are strong against all elemental attacks. And they are in a lot of battles around here, so that can be problematic. But, fortunately, they drop a piece of equipment that I really, really want to get from them. So hopefully I'll get it from one of these battles here. Okay, so, let's see. First thing we need to do is let's get power up going on Gafka there. Let's go with a wind god strike and another wind god strike. And hopefully that'll be enough for us here. Okay, well, we got those two guys out of the way. By the way, the uh, boo jumps there also can inflict instant death on you so you definitely want to take them out as quickly as possible yeah not a great start there but i think that was the best we could do with what we got let's see okay so to finish them off let's go with a chicken wave there yeah that ought to be good overkill when you need it and don't have it sing a different tune but, uh, no, no equipment drop that I wanted to get. A lot of the enemies have, uh, unique equipment drops or rare items you could steal from them that are unique to this dungeon, but none of them are, well, most of them are not that extraordinary. One of them is the one you can get from the Boojums there, but the other ones, not so much. Okay, let's see. Yeah, let's heal up Rosh there. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so we got that. Let's see. Ah, there's another one of the new enemies around here. Let's see. Let's get okay, so we got Caprasicus, or however you pronounce it. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, let's see. Those guys, they can petrify you, so you might want to watch out for that. And what else do we got? Uh, Yardbird there. And those guys can paralyze you, so we do need to take them out pretty quickly. Usually, if I'm fighting enemies here, I would like to get a full preemptive strike like we do here. But sometimes that just isn't always possible. Hmm. I'm trying to think if I can uh, try something else. Yeah let's, yeah, let's do this. Let's see. Let's go push assault. Then we'll go firestorm. Get all of them on the center there. And then go with two chicken waves that should be able to kill all of them. By the way, uh, Caprasicus has a rare item you can steal from it called the Garnet. It's a jewel and it increases your stone resistance by six. So, yeah, nothing extraordinary, but I believe it is exclusive to the Red, uh, lab or red Corridor here. Getting the dungeon names all mixed up here. But alright, okay, so we got those guys. Yeah, just heal up a little bit there. And, okay, so there's this guy here. And, let's see. Okay, so we got Champion Bear. Those guys, you can steal godly rings from them. But, yeah, they... Yeah, I think they just increase your HP and MP or something like that, like all the other rings. I'm not extraordinarily concerned about that. But I am concerned about taking both of these guys out. So let's see what we can do. Let's get a good power-up going there. Oop, 
There you go. Yeah, nice thing about Fulgore for Rosh is it boosts his magic stat. So when he uses power up on Gafka, you get a much bigger boost out of it. Okay, let's see. We go right assault. And then, let's see, double chicken wave. I think that'll be enough to take out both of them. Might not be enough for the bear. We'll see. But that guy is not too extraordinary to deal with. Yeah, we're going to need a little more help. Okay, let's see. So, yeah, we just go with another chicken wave. That should be enough. Too slow. All right. And, okay. Okay, so let's see. There's, yeah, there's repeats of these guys all around here. I'm not going to fight those right now. But uh, let's see. Yeah, right around there, we got another surprise attack and more other enemies. And let's see. We got the final part of the red corridor up here. Do not walk up unless you are ready. So make sure you're saved here. Unfortunately, what I need to do now is grind up to level 99 for everyone because even when you do that the ultimate super boss is immensely more difficult than anything we fought up to this point so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start grinding up to level 99 and i do want to fight where are these guys yeah i want to fight these guys and win a rare drop from them just to show you what i want to get out of them and yeah i'll be right back then Okay, there's the new enemy that I am looking for there. Let's see, Blondie. Those guys are weak to just about everything. They are really easy to kill. But I'm not really concerned with them. I'm mostly concerned with the Boojums there because they have the equipment drop that I want. And it's a pretty common drop. So you should be able to get them without even intentionally farming them while grinding up to level 99. Yeah, just use power up to win god strikes. Okay, that Banisher attack, that's the instant death attack that I was warning you guys about. But, uh, well, I got a little lucky there. Hooray! So, yeah, you kill those guys. Hey, all right, we get the Azure Armlet, exclusive to New Game Plus. And I want to get nine of them, so that way I have a full set for all of my active party members. Even at level 99, I'm still going to need those because... Well, just like most of the other armlets we've collected, yeah, this boosts your speed, but this time by 12. That's huge. And we're going to need all the help we can get. But even with those, it's still going to be extremely challenging. Do we stand a chance against the ultimate super boss of the game? Find out next time on Let's Play Radiant Historia. Perfect chronology. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.